With the official launch of RoboQuest, many features were added to the game. One of these features are power crystals. Oh, these are objects yeah. that are hidden around the game and can make your fight with the final boss and just clearing out the final area, oh God, in general, much easier. Around. And will also give you other passive benefits. First, you need to enter the ruins from the canyon area hub, and then once you get to the part of the map that is orange, like in the top right of the screen, clear the enemies and start looking around for four buttons. For you already saw me I'm hit the first four. button, oh, okay, but four. I will show you where the other How three are now. Maybe they're all over by the door. Here's another. It's two. There's three. Should be one more somewhere. Where could this last one be? Oh, here we go. Here's four. Once you hit all four switches, the lasers will disappear and you'll be able to enter the tunnel. Inside, you'll find a tech room key. This key will be used to open up a door at the halfway checkpoint through fields. It will also give you access to the quarry key. There's also a corpse with a data log and a chest in here, but if you return to this area in future runs, that corpse will always have an upgrade chip on it, so it is worth to come back if you do want to take the ruins path. The main reason you opened up this pathway though is because it gives you access to the scrapyard. Fight your way to the end and you'll enter a special boss fight with the gang of elites. Once you defeat them, you'll be able to grab your first power cell. Okay, gang of elites, great. Power crystal, okay. That's really big. The quarry key can be found behind the tech room door at the field's checkpoint. This door requires 25 cells to open. We will return to it. It leads to the Doom Gardens. The quarry itself can be found across from the ruins in the canyon location checkpoint. There will be a number next to the door that you need to remember in order to access the secret room inside the quarry. Once inside the quarry location itself, look for the gold area on your minimap. Type in the code to enter the secret room. Inside, there will be a free level up through a small event. Okay. A shovel, which can be used in future runs to dig up the ground whenever it's poking out. Hold on a sec. And a data log underneath you. Now we will actually have to return here with recon to blink across this little gap and have access to a new area. I didn't capture the moment I jumped over with Recon, but I did do the jump with Recon and entered a new area called the Pit. Fight your way through normally, and when you make it to the end, you'll actually find the Cinema Ticket. No way! This is where you get the ticket from? It's a good thing I'm recording this. Hold on. No! Behind El the door Mustico. where the Cinema Ticket is, though, there will be a boss fight. With me, it was for El Mustico. This is actually the first time I ran into him, so they might have changed him to a static spawn for this door from early access to the official release. And I have this. Once you defeat him, the door will open up behind you, and you will have access to the red power crystal. But I get this now. Claim the power crystal. Dude, that's huge! We're gonna backtrack a little bit to where we found the quarry key oh, in the field this, checkpoint. We We're gonna use enough. 25 power cells to I mean, unlock the door to the Doom Garden. The Doom Garden. What a crazy name. Once in the Doom Gardens, you'll be on a timer. You need to make it to the end of the area before the yellow bar at the top of the screen runs out. You can extend this timer by killing the bombers and picking up the yellow resource they drop. This area is quite dangerous though, so you need to strike a nice balance between moving quickly and prioritizing kills. Once you make it inside the final area, you will be able to grab the teal power crystal, as well as a corpse on the ground that will always have an upgrade token go. even on future runs. Did I grab that in time? I don't know. 
That was an upgrade. The right tech there. lab key no. will be immediately uh, available after the Doom Gardens, whether you succeed or fail the time trial. Huh? Finally, we got the tech lab key. The tech lab key opens up a door at oh the energy gosh, point checkpoint, and the inside time. there will be a fusion we core two, that you need nine power cells right in order to purchase. Fusion core key? What? There will also be a data log down in the vent. You'll have to go through another run and use the fusion core key at the checkpoint in Aqua Station to access the fusion core location. Fusion core. Once you fight your way to the checkpoint in the fusion core, there will be a little obstacle course you can go through to get the item Randy's Nose. This item isn't exactly important to getting the crystals, but I'm going to show what it does anyways later on when you get to Haven 8. Randy's nose? Okay. After you make it to the end of the fusion core, you'll have a fight with Duke Nuker. Once you defeat them, the yellow crystal will be yours. Alright. There we go. Yellow power crystal clay. Now let's take a short detour to talk about Randy's nose again. The reason I'm adding this part in the video is because many of you won't have this if you don't already have all the crystals, and this will only be a small pit stop on your journey ah, for a this big is where we reward. Give Randy's nose to this guy. If you go to the cinema on Haven 8 and give and Randy his nose back, he'll give you the jetpack gadget, which is one of, if not, the strongest gadget in the game, in my opinion. Whoa. Wow, you can actually get some nice air with that. That's gonna be incredible for the iris. This next crystal is pretty fun. It's a speed trial. You'll need to be moving quickly through the canyon and oasis to even be able to enter this area. You need to make sure you get to the checkpoint in oasis before three minutes have passed in your run. If you make it too late, the door will be locked. The rift itself is a speed trial too. You need to make it to the end of an arena and defuse a bomb in a short amount of time or you will die and lose the run. There will be yellow pickups around the area that give you a massive speed boost, so prioritizing at least some of these is a must, especially if you don't have jetpack or blink in your arsenal yet. Once you make it to the end, you have to defuse the bomb. There will be a delay on the defuse, it takes a little bit of time, so make sure you have some seconds to spare while you make it there. And then after you're done, you'll be able to grab the blue crystal at the back of the room. That is stressful. That's like actually tight timing. And there we go. Blue power crystal. Beautiful. One more to go, baby. One more to go. The green crystal and a stadium ticket uh, will be found in Waste Station. You can access this place through a portal that will randomly spawn when near a purple zone. So far, other okay. players I've spoken with and myself have only seen this portal spawn on fields, yeah, but don't worry, reference. there's another way to enter. Shout out to Jinx Murphit for giving me the info on this secret spot. The secret spot is located in the Aqua Station. Keep in mind that this location is only available if you travel through the quarry when you're in the canyon. Once you make it to Aqua Station, the secret spot will be right before the checkpoint. Whoa! Stadium ticket! You're playing this game all day, it's wicked. It most definitely is wicked, Farmer Tom. It is insanely good. Similar to the Doom Gardens, you will have to make it to the end of an arena before the timer at the top runs out. You do not need to kill all the enemies and can just skip them if you want. However, the timer is quite gracious, so if you wanted to get a little more XP before you snatch the crystal, feel free to clear a few rooms. There will be another bomb that you need to defuse at the end of this arena, but you'll probably make it there with lots of time to spare. And there is an achievement for defusing it with one second remaining, if you're confident enough in your ability to gauge the time. I would not recommend doing this for your first run though, because if you do screw it up and the bomb explodes, you will lose your run and you will have to make it all the way back to the way station to grab the crystal, which is the priority. Alright. 
There it is. There it is. Yo, Jinx, what's up? Uh. There we go. Congrats, you have all the power crystals, but you're not done yet. Make sure to stop by the orange zone on Haven 8 after you've grabbed them all to enter the bot cave and pick up your grappling hook. The grappling hook is the only other gadget in the game that I would say is comparable to the jetpack in terms of viability. It is so strong. It might even be stronger than the jetpack in my opinion because it gives every class a lot of mobility. There's also a map that you can pick up in the bot cave that's decoration at base camp and nothing else, but it's still something you can pick up nonetheless. No way. Hold on. No, 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 no. No way that's a real map. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. This took me a very long time to make. If you want to show some support, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing. If you want to see any specific RoboQuest content, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you all once again. I hope you have a great day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace. What a quick kill. Oh my god.